All right, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Boswell, and today we're doing Module 6, Lesson 12. I know this says 11, but it's really 12, and it says converting larger units into equivalent smaller units. The thing says today is I can convert larger units into equivalent smaller units to solve a problem. So we're going to answer some of these questions as we go along. It says, what is three girls plus two girls? What is the number and what are, or I'm sorry, what are the units? In this story problem, the unit or number sentence is girls. Are those the same? It says, can we add these units? Yes. Why can we add them? Because they are the same unit. Three girls plus two girls is five girls. Now, what if I had this number sentence? What is three girls plus two students? Can we add these units? So I have girls, there are three, and then this one is two students. Can we add these units? If you said no, you're right. But why? If you said because they're different, you're correct. It's because they are different units. But let's do this. Let's say the girls are students. What would be the new number sentence if we renamed the unit? So if I had, we're going to say that the girls are students. So I'm going to change this one to students. So I'm going to say three students plus two students equals blank and then what was our unit, everybody? Students. Now can I add them together? I sure can because they both have the same unit of, which is students. So three students plus two students is five students. So I can, we're, we're really learning today, fourth grade is, can I add like units? Yes, as long as they're the same. Can I add them if they're different? No. Sometimes we're going to have to rename the unit. Let's try this sentence. What is three-fourths plus two-fourths? Well, let's go to this question. It says, can we add these units? Yes or no? Well, let's go up here. This one says three-fourths, two-fourths. Are those units the same? Yes. Can we add them? Yes, because they are the same unit. 3 fourths plus 2 fourths is 5 fourths. Okay, let's take this next one. What is 3 fourths plus 1 half? Well, let's underline the unit. So I got fourths here and I have half here. Ooh, can we add these units fourth grade? If you said no, you're correct. It's just like over here with girls and students. We couldn't add them because they were what? Different units. Let's see, how could I um, solve three-fourths plus one-half? Okay. We make similar units. It says, when we make like units, we have to convert halves to fourths. So I'm going to take those halves and I'm going to change them to fourths. Well, we've already kind of learned about this, right? So I have one half and I need to do what to make it equivalent? Sorry, fourth grade. One half and I need to make that equivalent to a fourth, right? So what times two is going to give me a fourth? It's two. So at top I have to multiply it by two. So two times two is four, one times two is two. So I know that I can convert my fourth, or I'm sorry, my half into a fourth to get similar units. Now fourth grade, can I add three fourths plus two fourths? Absolutely, three fourths plus two fourths. Because I have the same unit, I can add those now, so three fourths 
plus 2 fourths is 5 fourths. Or if I wrote that as a decimal, or I can make it a mixed fraction, is 1 and 1 fourth, right? Or, I'm sorry, I don't have to write a decimal in this one. It's just 1 or 1 fourth is my mixed fraction, right? Now, was I able to answer this one? Yes, but I had to convert halves to fourths. I had to get like units or similar units. So you can say similar or like units. All right, let's try this one. What is three tenths plus four tenths? Can we add these units? Yes, why fourth grade? Because they are the same unit. So three fourths plus four, I'm sorry, three tenths plus four tenths is seven tenths. Okay, now let's see if we can do this one. What is three tenths plus four hundredths? Can we um, add these units, fourth grade? If you said no, you're right, because the units are what? They're different. Why they're different. Okay, but can we solve this problem? We have to make like units. When we make like units, we have to convert tenths into hundredths. So we're going to model that over here. So I have 3 tenths plus 4 hundredths, right? And I know I can't add that, so I'm going to have to change it up. So how many tenths do I have? I have 3. I have 1, 2, 3. How many hundredths? I have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And I have to bring these over here. So there's 1, 2, Three. So now how many hundredths? What does three tenths become when I convert it? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, fourth grade, I can explain that wrong. I'm sorry. When I move over, right, I have four. When I move these over, I have to make these into groups of 10. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? If I move this one over, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I move this one over, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sorry, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are in groups of 10. I got 10 here, I have 10 here, I have 10 here. Do I have 10 here? Nope. So three tenths becomes right so my three tenths became what 10 20 30 so I have 30 tenths plus I'm sorry 30 one hundredths because I put them over here so I have 30 one hundredths plus four one hundredths now fourth grade do I have like units yes Okay, when I add all these together, I have 30 hundredths plus 4 hundredths. It should make 34 hundredths. Well, let's see if we have that over here. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Oh, did I get 34 hundredths? Absolutely. So, let's continue. So, remember, we're still working with, I can convert larger units into um, equivalent smaller units, which we just did with tenths to hundredths. I made that tenths, that bigger unit, into a smaller unit. So we're going to continue using our place value chart to kind of help us. It says, use the place value chart to complete the number expression. Complete the number sentence. So I have two tenths plus seven hundredths. Can I add those together fourth grade? No, because they're not like units, so I have to make them like units. And what should I end up with? It says hundredths. So I have two tenths, and then it also says I have seven hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to kind of keep, keep grouping those in fives. So now what I have to do is I have to convert them. I'm going to change those tenths into hundredths. So I've got, move this one over here, I have to move it into ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to move this next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So I have a group of 10 here, and I have a group of 10 here. Do I have a group of 10 here? Nope, so I have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27. So how many hundredths do I have, fourth grade? I have 27 hundredths. So remember, fourth grade, really what I'm doing is I'm taking two times what to get them over here to the hundredths? I'm taking it times 10. And two times 10 is what? 20. Well, if I have 20 hundredths, right? Plus seven hundredths. 20 plus seven is 27 hundredths. Did I get the same thing? I sure did. Okay. All right, it says use this the place value chart to complete the number expression again and complete the number sentence. So I have two tenths. Mm -hmm. Let's change that to fourth grade. Let's change it to, actually, let's, leave, let's change that to a three. And let's change this seven fourth grade. Let's change it to a 10. Okay. So I have three tenths and 10 hundredths, but I know I can't add them yet because they are different units. So I have three tenths, one, two, three, but I have 10, 10 hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's my original number. I have three hundredths and 10, ten, ten, I'm sorry, three tenths and 10 hundredths. But now I have to convert these to get to like units, right? So I'm really gonna take that three times what? times 10. Well, what's three times 10, everybody? It should be 30. So over here, I should get 30. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a group of 10. Move this next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Move the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 10, 20, 30. Oh, did it convert to 30? Absolutely. But I still have these other hundreds, these 10 hundreds. So 30 tenths became, or I'm sorry, 3 tenths became 30 hundredths. Plus, we have 10 hundredths equals what? 30 plus 10 is 40 hundredths. So I should be getting that same answer. Well, let's use our place value chart. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, did we get 40? Absolutely, we did. Now it says, now try to solve converting all add-ins to hundredths before solving. This time I'm gonna do it without my place value charts, and I'm just gonna do it over here. So I have one-tenth and two-hundredths. Well, I know that one-tenth becomes ten-tenths. So I know that I have ten hundred. I'm sorry, becomes ten-hundredths, right? Plus I have the two-hundredths, so ten plus two is twelve-hundredths, all right? Down here, ooh, they just changed the order. I have 43 hundredths plus 6 tenths. Well, I gotta make those tenths. I gotta convert that. I know that six, to get tenths into hundreds, I'm gonna multiply it by 10. So six times 10 is 60. Oh, so I have my original number, which is 43 hundredths, plus now my 6 tenths became 60 hundredths. Okay, and then I'm gonna add those together. 60 plus 43, we have Three, six. Oh, we have 103 hundredths. It's getting pretty easy, fourth grade. So let's keep do going. Now I have it in a, a fraction form. So up here I had it in unit form. Now we have it in fraction form. It says, are we ready, can, are we ready to add this problem? Three tenths plus 13 hundredths. What do we know, fourth grade? We are not, no, but we can because we're going to convert it. And we're going to convert which one, the tenths or the hundredths? We're going to convert that tenth, right? And we're going to multiply it by what? We're going to multiply it by 10. Remember, whatever I multiply that bottom by, right, I do to the top. So 3 times 10 is 30. 10 times 10, everybody, is 100. Oh, now, fourth grade, if I rewrite that, right, I have 30 one hundredths plus 13 one hundredths. Can I add that? Absolutely. 30 plus 13 is 43 hundredths. How could I write that as a fraction? Or I'm sorry, as a decimal? It would become 0 0.43, 43 hundredths. Okay. 
So here we go. This one says, find the sum and write your answer as a decimal. Ooh, I'd already done that over here. So now we kind of have that practice. I can even put that up here. Okay. So I have six tenths plus 57 hundredths. Do I have the same unit? Nope. But I can multiply that tenth by 10, right? I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 10, right? Which equals six times 10 is 60. 10 times 10 is 100. So I have 60 hundredths plus 57 hundredths. What do I get? So I have seven, I have 117 hundredths, right? Well, I can put that in mixed fraction. I know that 100 goes into 117 one time and left over is 17 tenths or 17 hundredths. Oh, so the decimal, because I have to put in decimal form, is 1.17 hundredths. All right, let's do the same for this one. Nine tenths plus 64 hundredths. Which one am I going to change? I'm going to convert the tenths or the nine tenths, right? By 10, it equals nine times 10 is 90. 10 times 10 is 100. So I have 90 hundredths. So I have 90 hundredths plus 64 hundredths. It equals nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 154 hundredths. Well, I can put that in mixed fraction. It's 1 and 54 hundredths, right? And to put that into decimal, I could put 1.54 hundredths. 1 and 54 hundredths. So for, remember fourth grade, we're doing I can convert larger units into equivalent smaller units to solve a problem.